Right. I'm going to show you how to compact fluorescent bulb like this. Run off a double A battery with one of these that's been gutted just to get this section out. Now I just took these wires up to show you it's not connected to anything else, just directly to this running off a double A battery just to show you it does actually work. Now, I know there's a lot of disbelievers, um, but I can guarantee it this does work and it works very well. Now, I'll show you how to put one of these together yourself. The very good camping lights will run for about three hours on one double A battery and I'll show you how to make one um, with one of these so all you do is take the camera rip this cardboard away throw that to one side Want to remove the battery first, try not to press that button, and then to get inside it, rip that off. Just need to pull these tabs back. Very easy to do, very simple. Just break them back both sides of the camera this is the quickest way of doing it that I've found once you've done that grab this part of the camera at the front here and pull it forward that will pop clean off Your lenses and other bits you can use something else if you want. You can remove those. Now the, the important part of here is try not to go anywhere near this flash unit. Um, first off, push them tabs together in case there's any charge in the flash. Um, sometimes they'll flash, sometimes they don't. Depends if, if you press that button at all, because that's what charges it up. Now fold that out of the way, this small black tab here, you want to press that in, so then the circuit board should just lift away from the camera, that's the only part you're interested in, just throw all the rest of that away. Now be careful with this because this can give you a really really nasty shock and I'll show you how to deal with that. Now, you best put it on the floor and use something like a, a file or any any metal item you're not bothered over with the plastic handle and just touch those two tabs on the bottom there. Um, there's a tab there and a tab there on the bottom of this which is uh, a capacitor. So just put that on the floor. It might make a spark and it might make a bang when you do this. Luckily, this one seems to be discharged already, so that's not a problem here. Then you take this, and you cut off these two tabs here to disconnect this from the flash unit. You just cut both of them, and then get just throw that or put it away for some whatever else you might want to use it for. Um, the next step then is just snip off, I don't know if you can quite see them on there but there's two metal pins, just want to snip them away, just trim both of those off, 
the next thing to do is to remove the flash itself which is safe to touch now it's been discharged um, and this high power capacitor well high power transformer now to do that I think the best thing to do is just to push this black transformer very gently and it comes away really easily once you've pulled that away you can then just push the red light back push that straight back and then rock it and this will just snap off might take a bit of twisting about but it will snap off as you can see and there we go and throw that away no, no longer needed now push the light the little red light to the side there just to keep it out of the way now some people here recommend removing there's a little transistor here um, it's normally marked 0, 04 or 0, 05 but it's the one opposite there's a slot hole it's the one opposite the slot hole um, this is a transformer this is the part that does most of the work in this uh, in this experiment or DIY or whatever you want to call it um, now all you need to do now is if you look on the back there's two pins where the charge switch was and you can bridge those two pins I don't know if you can see them on there so well but you can bridge these two pins or you can fit a switch between them now for speed I'm just going to attach this crocodile clip which should make them contact then all that you need to do is add your battery and as you can see be quite careful at this point where you touch it because you can get a shock from it um, you'll see it lights up there try and get it to light steady which it should if you bridge the gap of it a switch now I'll just show you it working all you do then is in the CFL when you cut if these just pop off um, you just need to get a screwdriver between there and the top twist it and these just pop away then cut from inside there there's a little um, circuit that you need to cut away um, just trim that off and trim the wires from there now you probably have four wires coming out if you look at the tubes on the tubes there should be two in each tube join them together on the same tube so the two there join together the two there join together you probably can't see them so quite clear on there but just join these together if there's two there may be just one but there's normally two now once you've done that then on your circuit there's two points where you need to contact to make it like your bulb and one contact is just below where the negative is on the battery and then again just below that as you can see when the CFL lights up the little red light on this will turn off and this runs for roughly three hours on just a standard AA battery I've not really tested it much um, 
So actually if you use a high capacity rechargeable battery it'll probably run for 8 hours or so, I'm not quite sure. But I'm just showing you that it does work. It's not a trick. Um, it does give out quite a fair decent amount of light to be honest. It makes a great night, night light. Great for reading by. Brilliant for if you go camping. Because then all you need is a few batteries to take with you. Um, obviously you could use a solar panel and charge your batteries during the day. Then use these on the night. They're very efficient. They don't get hot. Um, and the only thing I can say is try not to run it on two double A's. If you're going to run it in two, with two double A's make sure that you have positive to positive so you have two positive terminals two negative terminals like this because if you, if you connect them this way you'll overpower this circuit which will blow this tiny transistor here so don't run it on two double A's it is possible but you will probably blow that transistor which means then you'll have to replace it which isn't an easy thing to do um, especially as these are quite hard to get hold of it will make the bulb run brighter with two but I do suggest two together like this will make it run a lot longer although you won't get the brightness you would if you ran them this way because this way will just really push that transistor to, to its limit um, and I'll leave you guys to it um, now the dogs come to see what's going on <laughs> right well I hope you enjoyed this so, Go out and get some of these disposable cameras. Bye.